Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. PowerPoint is a presentation program that allows you to create dynamic slide presentations. Now, these presentations can include animations, narrations, images, videos, and much more. In this lesson, you'll learn your way around the PowerPoint interface, including the Bibbon, Quick Access Toolbar, and Backstage View. Now, let's open PowerPoint program. So, go to your search bar and type PowerPoint. Then click on it to open. And when you open PowerPoint for the first time, the start screen will appear. From here, you will be able to create a new presentation, choose a template, and access your recently edited presentations. So from the start screen, locate and select blank presentations to access the PowerPoint interface. So this is the PowerPoint interface. And we'll start with the ribbon. Now, over here, this is the ribbon. Now, the ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. Now, we have insert tab, design tab, transitions, and so on. And each of these tabs have their own groups of command. We have the font group, the paragraph group, drawing group, and our home tab. Then, some groups also have a small arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click for even more options. I like this one. Then you can select whatever you want, and once you're done, you close that. So these little icons offer more options in PowerPoint. Now, if you feel like the ribbon is taking up too much space on your screen, you can choose to hide or minimize it. Click the ribbon display option arrow in the upper right corner of the ribbon display to display this drop-down menu. Now over here we have three options. We have the auto hide ribbon, the show tabs, and the show tabs command. So if you choose this first one, auto hide ribbon, it displays your workbook in full screen mode and completely hides the ribbon. So to show the ribbon, click the expand icon over here and the ribbon will pop up right up. Then the second option you have is show tabs. Now this option hides all command groups when they're not in use, but tabs will remain visible, just like I have over here. To show the ribbon, simply click a tab. So I'll click on any tab and the ribbon will come back right up. Then the third option we have is show tabs and commands. Now this option maximizes the ribbon. All of the tabs and commands will be visible. Then just know that this option is selected by default when you open PowerPoint for the first time. <clears throat> now let's look at the tell me what you want to do feature. We call it the tell me feature. Now, if you're having trouble finding your, the command you want, the tell me feature can help. It works just like a regular search bar. You just type whatever you're looking for. So let's type a command like align. Then the commands will come up over here. A list of options will appear and you can use the command directly from the menu without having to find it on the ribbon. Now that's the tell me feature. Then we have the quick access toolbar. Now the quick access toolbar lets you access common commands no matter which tab is selected. And by default, it includes the save, undo and redo plus start from beginning command. Now you can add other commands depending on your preference. So to add commands to the quick access toolbar, click the drop down arrow, this one. Then from here, choose whichever command you want to add. You can add um, the email command or the spelling command. Let's add that. And as you can see, it will be added to the quick access toolbar. Then PowerPoint includes several tools to help organize and arrange content on your slides. This include the ruler, the guides, and the grid lines. Now these tools make it easier to align objects on your slides. Simply click the check boxes in the show group on the view tab to show and hide these tools. So currently you can see my rulers. Um, if you go under view tab, we have these three over here, the ruler, the grid lines, and the guides. So you can choose to turn them on 
like that and they'll help you they'll guide you as you create your presentation and you can also choose to hide them by just unchecking those boxes and that's how you hide those options those commands those rulers the guides and the grid lines then over here we have the four view options now powerpoint has a variety of viewing options that change how your presentation is displayed you can choose to view your presentation in a normal view which is selected by default slide sorter view we have the reading view and or the last one is the slideshow view then once you're done you can click escape and it will take you back you can select now the normal view which is selected by default then we have the zoom controls over here so you can zoom in or zoom out by clicking and dragging the zoom control slider to the right or to the left you can also use these plus and minus icons to zoom out and to zoom in and the number next to the slider, this one, displays the current zoom percentage. And it's also called the zoom level. Now mine is at 70% currently. Lastly, we'll look at backstage view. Now backstage view gives you various options for saving, opening, printing, and sharing your presentations. So to, ac to access backstage view, click the file tab on the ribbon. And here you are, you're in the backstage view. Now here are the options you can open uh, recent documents you can choose a new template or blank document there's a save command you can print share there are lots of options over here now that you're familiar with the powerpoint interface you're ready to create a presentation